What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a huge bombshell in regards to the Call of Duty League for this upcoming 2020 to 2021 season. And I don't know if this was some type of mistake over on the CDL's end because this was announced at like 2.30 in the morning, so pretty freaking late. But regardless, the league is going to be moving from console to PC at the beginning of the 2021 season, which is absolutely huge for competitive COD because for one, console esport games don't really do too well in terms of viewers. All the best esport games are played on the PC, so this is going to be huge for the fan base and to the players all around because they're gonna enjoy playing on the PC much much more compared to console but the players aren't gonna be playing on a mouse and keyboard instead they're gonna be using a league approved controller of the players choice so all around this switch is gonna be better for the players the viewers and also the league itself because I'm sure this is gonna bring in more sponsorship opportunities for PC parts and whatnot um, but the biggest question is whether or not the league is gonna be ran on LAN this year instead of online but due to COVID-13, kind of unsure about the direction LAN events are going to be, you know, heading towards. A lot of people kind of think the league should create its own little mini bubble for uh, this year and the pro players, kind of like what the NBA has done, or hold LAN events but keep it at a minimum capacity, or even better, maybe not allow fans to watch the events at all. Because the league is all about protecting their assets and the players, the brand, etc., which I completely understand because, you know, if news broke out that there was a Call of Duty gaming event taking Taking place and someone in attendance tested positive with COVID-19 that would really make the league look pretty irresponsible but maybe the league could hire medical personnel to do health screenings and force a mask policy stuff like that I don't know but regardless, I believe LAN events could very much so happen this year, given proper safety measures are taken. Now, some players are worried that the Switch is going to hurt the amateur scene because of all the PC hackers infesting Warzone and Modern Warfare right now. But to be honest, I think Activision has something under their sleeve. I personally believe that by next year, there's going to be a proper anti-cheating software implemented within Call of Duty to detect those with hacks. I just don't think Activision would want to make the switch without entirely discussing how to eliminate hackers within their game and with all the news coming out about how they're suing a hacking company and you know it just seems like they're taking all the proper steps to truly make call of duty esports something to be respectable so Hopefully we can get some information about that coming very, very soon here. Also, I've seen quite a few people say that, oh, Call of Duty is going to be ending their partnership with Sony. I don't think that contract is ending at all, actually. In fact, there truly isn't any exclusives between any of the playable systems, except maybe the upcoming Black Ops Cold War beta, which I'm going to talk more about in a second here and how you can get free codes. But in terms of in-game exclusives, sure, there is a combat pack that comes out roughly every season, but... Is this really something that Xbox and PC players are really missing out on? I don't know. Everyone just, you know, gets everything at the same time. They get weapons at the same time. Everybody gets new maps, new updates, etc. I just don't get what all the fuss is about, to be honest. Really, this is just going to open up many, many doors for sponsorship deals for the league itself, like with PC parts, like graphics cards, the new 30 series, you know. Um, I think that's another big reason why they decided to switch it up. But that's just my thoughts, guys. Again, I think the Switch is going to be a huge thing for a franchise Call of Duty League, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. If you guys didn't know, the Black Ops Cold War beta is actually going to be open, meaning anybody can install and play. You don't got to pre-order the game or anything like that. But if you do want to play early, then you are going to have to enter a code. Now, the early access beta dates for the PlayStation start on October the 8th through the 9th, so... If you guys want to play early, then you can join the official Treyarch Discord server and look out for the chance to get a free beta code. I have a link in the description to where you can join the server. And there's a channel on the bottom left hand side called Beta Codes. And I believe sometime in the afternoon is when you can check back and see if codes have been posted in there. Big, big shout out to Foxtown and the guys over at Treyarch for running the server and also keeping up with the Reddit community. But anyways, guys, again, you don't need to pre-order unless you want to play the beta early. But that's what these codes are going to be used for. They're for you to play the Black Ops Cold War beta early if you want to. But if not, you can just wait for the open beta dates to start and then search up the game on your Xbox or PSN store. I did a whole video talking about this and much, much more. If you guys want to go watch that, there's going to be a link down below in the description. But guys, tell me your thoughts about the Call of Duty League switch to PC down below in the comments. Also, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to follow me over on my Twitter for the chance to win a free copy of Black Ops Cold War or an Elgato HD6 CS capture card. And also to keep up to date when I post new videos and anything Call of Duty news related. So 
with that guys thank you so much for watching i love you all so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you guys later